We are Pierre, Lisa, and our furry crew member, Tiller. We are sailing around the world in our Outremer 5X catamaran. Having crossed the Panama Canal and the Pacific Ocean, we're now in the Indian Ocean and sailing in Indonesia. Please subscribe to join our adventures. And a big thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. Well, welcome aboard another episode of Biotrek Sailing. I'm here with my friend Mappy from Palm 3, and we're in Raja Ampat sailing together. On s'est rencontré avec Pierre et Lisa en 2018. Pierre et Lisa cherchaient donc un catamaran à acheter. Ils sont venus sur Pomme 3. On est parti ensemble faire une navigation à la journée. Et je crois que Pierre est vraiment tombé amoureux du 5X. C'est ça. So we were sailing with them in France. And we kept in touch. So actually, after having one sail with Pomme 3, Pierre decided this is the boat we have to buy. And we stopped looking. And, um, and we kept in touch, and I think the next time we sailed together was in the Caribbean. Was it? Was in the, we took that trip to St. Lucia together. On a fait une navigation ensemble dans les Caraïbes de Martinique à St. Lucie, oui. je pense, dans oui. 2000. Pendant le Covid. Pendant le Covid. Pendant le Covid. 2021. Oh yeah, we had passed our first hurricane together. On était les seuls bateaux. Il y avait Biotrek et il y avait Pomme 3. On a navigué les deux bateaux ensemble et c'était vraiment extraordinaire. On a passé du bon temps parce que Pierre connaît très très bien Sainte Lucie. You know, during COVID, there weren't a lot of boats traveling around because it was very complicated to change countries. And so we just enjoyed our time there. And we actually prepared our boats for the first hurricane together, which was Hurricane Elsa, which hit very early in the season. I think it was even in the month of June or end of June. It was early. Euh, je crois que c'était fin juin. Oui, je crois que c'était fin juin. Oui. Oui. I just thought it'd be fun to have Mappy do this little introduction to the video because um, the video today that I'm making is going to be about our time together in Raja Ampat. We've done a lot of diving and we went back to Pef Island. Oh, tell about when you arrived at Pef. All the, all the rain. <laughs> Quand on est arrivé à Pef Island, il faisait un temps de cochon. Il pleuvait mais énormément et grâce à Pierre et Lisa euh, qui sont venus nous chercher en annexe à l'entrée de PEF ils ont pu nous aider à rentrer dans le mouillage et, et à pouvoir euh, prendre la bouée mais vraiment heureusement qu'ils étaient là parce que c'était très difficile You couldn't see anything, it was raining so hard I mean we could only see Palm 3 arriving when you were about 100 feet away it was like a complete sheet of rain and they, Pierre had sent a trace, and uh, I'll show you the trace because it looked like they were navigating on land. So it was it was pretty touch and go. I mean, um, but uh, we've enjoyed our time here. J'aime beaucoup euh, Wasai, j'aime beaucoup les Rajampat, mais comme je disais à Lisa, c'est pas toujours facile parce que souvent les enfants nous manquent, les petits enfants nous manquent maintenant. Mm -hmm. La famille est pas toujours facile pour faire venir sur les bateaux, donc euh, c'est un petit peu difficile. Yeah, we love our, we, we, I think we both feel the same way. We, we love this traveling we're doing, but it is sometimes a bit lonely with the family so far away, and they can't just people who are working can't just jump on a plane and see us because it takes well over 24 hours to get here and so you know, that's kind of the downside of cruising and we're both looking back forward to being back in the Caribbean which will be in 2024. Yes, je pense que on sera de retour à Saint-Martin uh, vers le mois de avril mai. Right. And then we have to decide what to do because it'll be hurricane season. And for Biotrek we haven't decided if we're going to take the boat north to the United States or we'll go south but that's a long time away. Right now we're looking at things day by day. And tomorrow you are going? Et demain nous repartons, on descend sur Ambon. And we're going to stay here because I have a friend coming to join us on Biotrek and she's not ar arriving until Saturday. So without further ado, I'll start to show some of our time together and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> we left Vanuatu for Indonesia over a month ago and Palm 3 stayed longer in Vanduat to visit some of the more northerly islands. We had arranged to meet in Raja Ampat, and when they were getting close to arriving, we thought that Pef Island would be a good location because it's well protected. It looked like they might be arriving at night and with bad weather. 
Pierre had sent by satellite our time zero trace into the anchorage. With the inaccuracy of the maps, it looked like we were anchored on land. Palm 3 arrived early morning and it was just sheeting rain. We went out past the entrance to meet them and we could barely see 100 feet ahead of us. The rain was stinging our eyes and we couldn't hear the VHF with the noise of the motor and the noise of the rain. They followed us into the pass and were relieved to see Biotrek and we got them safely moored on the mooring ball beside Biotrek. We enjoyed our time together. We walked up to the lookout and had a beautiful view of our boats and the other side of Peff Island. Mappy, Luma and I went paddle boarding together and we took Tiller to the beach for a run and a swim. Okay, you're so excited, you're so excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't throw far enough. Did it sink? No, it's, there it is, there it is. In one of our paddleboard excursions, we saw sea grapes growing in shallow waters. We asked the resort chef about it, and he served them for dinner. While we were off paddleboarding, Pierre was busy getting some new open CPM software working together with the radar. Explain what you've been working on all day. Well, I always tried to get the radar which we were able to do in our second Argoy screen on this display, but a computer display. But uh, it wasn't really satisfactory. What I really wanted is to have the radar and the navigation superimposed. I also wanted, if possible, to be navigating with Google Earth type of information on the screen instead of that uh, the information we have from the. Uh, the normal, you know, C map or anything else charts, and uh, so far I've been able to achieve that. So I'm quite, uh, quite happy. Dominique said, "In this part of the world, wood sinks and rocks float. It has beautiful scenery with all that limestone and pumice stone." We enjoyed dinners at Pep Island and a musical evening with lots of dancing. Congratulations to Luma on her advanced paddy certificate. And when the kids on Palm 3 got their paddy, it was time to leave and we headed over to the only marina in Raja Ampat. Ibala. Bye bye. Pef Island, ce que nous sommes en train de quitter. Voilà. Une nouvelle destination nous attend. We arrived at the Meridium Adventure Dive Marina and Hotel where we would enjoy a week of diving reefs all over Raja Ampa with their fast boats, getting the boat clean with the dark water. It is sparkling. Provisioning in the stores and in the local market in Wasai. Walking the dog, eating in nice restaurants, and generally enjoying our time together with Palms 3 and with the dive crew from the resort. What is really special about Raja Ampat is the diving. An extraordinary amount of soft corals, fish, 
and really beautiful reefs that are largely intact and not affected by some of the devastation occurring around the world. I love the challenge of finding these small, colorful nudibranchs. Many fish seem to travel in pairs, and this couple is no different. There are many types of sea anemone and anemone fish in the Indian Ocean in Raja Ampat. Some sea anemone are very colorful, even if the anemone fish are not. These little nudibranchs look like they're getting ready to get friendly. This is a Wobegon shark, also known as a carpet shark, which are found under rock ledges during the day, and as all sharks are predators at night. With our two tank dives, we had the chance to visit many different villages in the area. In this village, the school children were just getting out and heading towards an energy efficient refreshment stand. Tiller's always glad to see us when we get back from our dive. Hello, my Tiller. Come here, Tiller. Come on. <laughs> Come Tiller. 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 Oh. <laughs> On a particularly windy day, we went to a closer reef. I'll call it Dynamite Reef because the devastation from dynamite fishing was very obvious. It's now a protected region, but I'm told that sometimes people are still caught doing dynamite fishing. Really very sad. Dynamite fishing is now illegal in all of Indonesia, but it's really taking a long time for the reefs to re-establish themselves because the large blasted areas are very slow to recover because corals have difficulty establishing it's on loose or sandy substrates. And also the rubble from the coral will fall down and kill some of the reef life further down on the reef or deeper in the reef. A trip to Melissa's garden in Pio Nemo is one of the nicest day excursions you can do with this marina. You first go through the Kaboy Passage, which is a very, very scenic passage. We went through here with Biotrek. See how shallow it is. We wouldn't do it again with Biotrek, and you can see that trip in our last episode.
Pia Nemo is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and the park protects the geodiversity of the region. The site is depicted in a $100,000 note, which is equivalent to about 13 US dollars. Before I finish this video and show us saying goodbye to Palm 3, I just want to mention that Biotrack Sailing supports a not-for-profit foundation called the Alliance to Cure. Biotrack Selling has been recognized by their conference, which gives support to people affected by this disease and their families. Go to the Biotrack Selling website if you'd like to donate, and every little bit helps. In some places, bread is hard to get and we have to make our own. We have a bread maker on board Biotrack, but sometimes the texture gets kind of tiresome because it's always the same. So we had a nice afternoon on Palm 3 with Mappy showing us how she makes homemade French olive bread. We laughed together and had a lot of fun. And if you want to see the entire sequence showing you how to make the bread, then stay to the end for extra content and the entire recipe. Is it a recipe of a fantastic chef? The name is Antoine Vial. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> of, the, of the catamaran. You know of the catamaran. <laughs> Met him before. What is the name of the catamaran? Bamboche. Bamboche. His boyfriend. <laughs> her, her boyfriend. boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend, I will say. You want the recipe? It's necessary to. Um, <laughs> necessary? <laughs> only, 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 one, only one night. <laughs> My mom is gonna watch. Come on. No, mom. It's, it's the younger siblings. Not only one night. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's our bread. It smells good, baby. Hello. It smells good. There's the pizza. Oh my god. The last week I'm going to show you Melissa's garden is probably one of the most famous ones in the region. about this cruising life is that you meet people pretty easily. You make fast friends and you just know you're going to be friends for the rest of your life. You meet other people, transiently become fast friends, and hopefully we'll be back into this area so that we can meet them again and dive with them again. It was Palms last night. We went to our favorite restaurant, The Duck, before we would say goodbye the next morning. It's always sad when your friends leave. But that's also part of cruising life. You come together with people, you go your own ways. So happy. <laughs> Hello. We'll be meeting up with Palm 3 in a month or two when we reach Lombok. They're going to be going there pretty directly from Ambon and not following the rally route. Whereas we're going to rejoin the rally and do the rest of Indonesia with the rally. As for Luma, you're going to continue to see her in our videos. She's going to be staying with us all the way to Mauritius. Thank you. See you soon, my friend. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you, guys. You're welcome.
Stay with us for some extra content on making bread with Palm Three. We're learning how to make bread. The way Mappy makes it. Homemade bread without a bread machine. It was 500 grams of flour. Yes. 350 millilitres. 350 millilitres d'eau. À température ambiante. Tiède. 37 Tiède. degrés. Voilà. Une bonne cuillère à café de sel qu'il faut absolument mélanger avec la farine parce que la levure n'aime pas le sel. Okay. You put two spoons, two big spoons of yeast. And you mix. With the wooden spoon? Wooden. Yeah. wooden. Finger please. Why? <laughs> Because yeah. the yeast don't like um, metal. Yeast yeah. yeah. have lots of preferences. Should be done? No, it's not good. I, <laughs> I prefer when the yeast is uh, mixed with the water. Is uh, comme on dit fondu, mélangé. It's melted in the water. Voilà. Yes. <laughs> ah, I like cook with that. In the first bread, put olive, a, a green olive, with oregano. What is the name in English of that, Lisa? Oregano. No, it's herbs. It's a mix of different oh, herbs. Oh, uh, les, les herbes de Provence. Voilà, c'est ça. C'est ça. It's French uh, herbs. Yeah. French it's a mix of thyme, sage, yes. romaine. Yes. Oui. Okay. Now you put your water with the flour and you mix. You mix with that, not with your hand. The first with the frog. Fork. Fork. Frog's a No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't mix it with frogs. <laughs> <Just like this. laughs> Go! Oh, yeah. oh Luma! Oh. Look at Luma! Luma, you're talking speak. too much! Don't speak! Just look at where Matthew is! Don't yeah. speak, Luma! <laughs> and it's finished, the water, when all the water is in with your flour, you can go with the end, okay? Oh! Did we rentre de l'air? You've got to let the air be pushed into it by kneading it. Come to some cross in kneading. Pétrir! Pet? Pétrir! That sounds like fart. Alors, pétrir. That sounds like fart, P-E-T-R-I-R. I want to keep it yeah. round. Because the... C'est fait du pain, moi, ouais. mère. Oh. C'est ma mère qui est une bonne cuisinière. Let's, let's get the house. Lisa, let's get the machine. <laughs> <laughs> fold it that way, and then push it down. <laughs> and now you're going to fold it this way. Is that's how you do yes. it? Yes, yes. Hey. That's you're the machine. That on uh, plus les fibres de le blé dans okay. le bon direction. Exactly. Mid, 24 hour in the fridge. Where am I going to find space in my fridge? Ma <laughs> matin, le pain a doublé de volume. Mm -hmm. of the water and the olives so it's going to make the bread soggy. Now? Should I? Yes. Similar of the first. I think you need a little bit. Give me your hand. Go. And Luma, do you remember? The yeah. same kneading action that we did where you fold it over and you push with the palm of your hand. Go. Getting strong. Yes. And I put a little bit flour. Little bit uh, herbs. Yes. Yeah. yes. One hour and a half more for an hour. I'm noticing that you're leaving a little space on each side. Right. That's for it to rise. One, two, three. Look. Don't forget water. Look at this. <laughs> There's our bread. It smells good, baby. Hello. It smells good. There's the pizza. Oh.